here we are the first video welcome to this video my name is Judith Adams and on today's video we are going to be talking about beauty standards beauty standards has always been extremely prevalent throughout human history for everyday interactions the media the commercial world your workplace and sometimes even friends determine to ask the proportion of your face your body stature your height and your weight just to measure our beauty standards now looking back at those days European women wore corsets just to have smaller waist to be accepted in the society they belong to just like the Chinese women wore smaller shoes to bind their feet so that they would have smaller feet to that of the Philippines wearing quails and quails just to make their next longer going back to Africa to people bleaching their skins doing so many bizarre things flat ironing and hot combing their hair just to straighten it up to look a certain way my question is should people be telling us what their beauty standards is should the society determine to us how we should look like how they want us to be accepted or that is a job for us to do now to answer that question i think beauty standards should be measured by you and i what we feel comfortable in we should accept ourselves how we are naturally now don't get me wrong here it is okay if you want to change a few things just to feel accepted but imagine this Ever since you pop out from your mom's belly, people have to determine to you how you should look like. That definitely has a lot to do with confidence. And these things take a toll on us where little girls feel they are not accepted. Go extremely, way beyond measures, just to feel beautiful. Not just bleaching skin, not just doing other things. These days, yeah, we are living in the plastic surgery world where people think they have to have some body type of shape just to feel beautiful it is okay but are we looking at this as a societal problem of course not this has a lot to do with confidence how confident are we on ourselves how confident are we to accept who we truly are where stretch marks body discoloration to acne scars and this has a lot to do with how natural and human we are but then again society does not accept these things and when people have these things which are natural they tend to not be beautiful let's look at Lupita when Lupita started in the media world people criticized her she was a darker tone woman that nobody felt she was up to standard she got bullied most often people criticized her so much that like she said growing up she wanted to bleach her skin just to look a certain way now these are the, some of the things I'm talking about society would always push on you but I dare you are you ready to listen to them or you want to do a thing of your own you want to be natural you want to accept yourself you want other people to accept you but should other people even be accepting you I say no are you comfortable you feel comfortable in whatever you wear it's our body it's our choices and nobody should be determined for us but if we have to do all this just to be accepted I think there's something wrong somewhere you can imagine that this standard has been placed on us from birth you pop up from your mom's belly and who someone is telling you how they want you to look like or feel like just so they would they would accept who you are this practices have teach younger girls to put their life in danger where they bleach their skin like I mentioned earlier which their skin cancer to that getting a surgery you could die on the table or in the surgery room in any way now to bring your hair I read somewhere that said that perming your hair actually increases your chances of getting cancer as a black woman nevertheless I am here to encourage you younger girls out there you do not need all this 
to be accepted even though our stretch marks our body discoloration the acne scars that scar you have in your feet whichever way is not accepted you are still beautiful and that lies on you to accept who you truly are eat well drink more water feel good it all starts with your mental health having confidence issues as part of mental health and all these things I have mentioned has a lot to do with confidence issue that is the toll that these things which are the beauty standards I just mentioned has on us accept yourself you should love yourself of course that is your body everything that is here has more to do with you than any other person of course the natural body is not being accepted but guess what it's none of anyone's business in any way just to tell you this social media the young ones on there this really is what is affecting us everybody look the same everybody look a certain type of way which I feel that that's what they want but do not let that take a toll on you. You determine how your feet looks like. You determine to yourself what your beauty standards are, how you want to feel, how comfortable you want to feel. Because not just where we come from that has to affect this thing, sometimes religious practices, sometimes some of us has or come from home where we see beauty in a different way than other people be more accepting be more welcoming but do not let anyone pushes down to you what they feel you should be doing so that they would accept who you are beauty standards has always changed over time they never remain the same as time goes on things change where people feel people should look a certain type of way I still remember years ago growing up in Africa people drank appetizers um, multivitamins just so that they would have heavier weight because they felt men wanted heavier women nowadays there's something they call thick M men want thicker women I don't know what that is in the first place but men want thicker women and then years ago it was the skinnier type people wanted I dare to tell you this if you're doing anything like that because of a man you have to stop it every man has a type of a woman they want if you are heavier if you are leaner and he wants a leaner woman that is to your advantage but do not kill yourself poisoning your soul and doing all these things to yourself just to be accepted in this society be you be different stand out I mean do you ever want to walk into a room or in a place and feel like you look like everybody which we may never make history in the first place so I dare to tell you today be yourself stand out be there I am here to tell you that regardlessly of our imperfections be you love yourself because one thing I could tell you is these beauty standards they cause self-hate where you would rather be someone or you rather want to be someone than be yourself which has a very heavy toll on us so i tell you this be you be daring be strong be accepting accept yourself and i think if you accept yourself you could accept any and anybody else so this topic is so personal to me because in so many ways people have tried to determine to me whether I was beautiful or not spoke of my tribal marks but guess what it never got to me I'm beautiful regardlessly and I wasn't ready to let anyone peek into me how they felt I should look like or what didn't make me beautiful that was left unto me and then knowing who I was 
people can accept me and I tell you this it's been three years and I don't receive any comments about my travel max anymore why because I will tell you oh I am comfortable in them they do not stop me from being the girl I was born to be they do not take anything from me I am powerful the way I am and that's exactly how I want you to be there is so much power in you being the person you were created to be so I tell you this do not let anyone's idea of what beauty is get to you you are beautiful accept yourself and then everything else kills our confidence and sometimes promotes self-hate which is very very brutal to our mental health so I tell you this, you don't just do this one day. It's not a one day or two days or few months job. Work on yourself regularly. If it's going to be a mantra, put it as a mantra to work on your confidence. Guess what? Always tell yourself, and this is how I do it every morning. I stand out. There's nobody out there but me. So I have a point to prove. And that is being your natural self work with what you have and that was given unto you by god so be mindful of who you follow who you allow onto your space if they are not giving you the good energy the good vibe as to you accepting yourself and it has anything to shrink your self-worth your confidence do not do it you are natural you were created with a purpose and I dare you to leave up to that standard. And there's no standard above that than to be standing out. I dare you today. Be you. Live up to your convictions. Live up to yourself. Make yourself proud. Be bold. Be beautiful. Thank you for tuning in. This is your girl, Judith. Please like and share.